Hello everybody, this is Phil, Kilo Mike 4 Oscar Papa. Hope everybody doing well. Just a little short video here on the radio I was working on this evening. I got this radio really cheap. It's really nice clean condition. I got the covers off of course. I got it for a uh, hundred bucks. The problem was when I turned it on I wasn't getting all the bands. Uh, I, was, I wasn't getting 15 meters, 10 meters, 28.5, 10 meters, 29 megahertz. wasn't getting any of that. And uh, <clears throat> I did some cleaning. I pulled connectors out. Uh, gave it a blast of detox. It's an old radio. This radio is back from the from the 80s. Nice radio. I've had a number of these. Is it Kenwood TS uh, 120S is what it is. The TS 120S. I have it on his side. You see it right there. They also make the TS 130S that has the work bands. This one don't have the work bands. It just have uh, 10 through uh, to 80 meters with WWV. So I got it working. I still got a, another problem I discovered, which was probably the main problem, and it's this relay right here. This is a TR relay, uh, and I, it's got a pla it's in a plastic band. I'll take the plastic cover off, and I believe the uh, the contacts are got some uh, oxidation on it. See, I can change bands. See now, see it wasn't working before. There it goes. It would do that right there. Now. If I tap on the relay, it comes right back. So I know the relay is dirty. Or if it didn't come back that way, if it does that, I hit the key button, I key it up, and it comes back. So that's when the relay activates, the contacts make again. So, but it works good. It's got 100 watts out. Let's see right here, everybody. 100 watts out. So, I don't have a microphone. I was going to try one of my microphones, but I don't have one with a uh, four pin connector on it. But I did hook up my key, and it puts out 100 watts, and I made a CW contact with a gentleman in Georgia, and he copied me fine on CW on Morse code. I had my key hooked up to the back of the radio. I put my key back on here. I was using a screw key. That's the hole in the wall that would melt down in Hollywood, Florida. I think it's a tad off frequency because they're on 7.188 on 7.9. But I'll just, I'll just uh, adjust, they got trimmers in here for each band, down in here. There's trimmers right there. They have some for the fixed crystals, which I, there's none in there, and these are for each band. So I'll adjust that later, but it's pretty, it's not far off. So that's it, working on the... Uh, Kenwood TS 120S little HF radio. I'm not gonna put the covers back on because I gotta clean that relay. Sorry, well, uh, we got hit with the one. hundred bucks, not bad. Doing significant, really bad damage. Uh, to my pool enclosure. That's Mal. And uh, we had a couple of those fell off, and that was. A I've known him for years. He's down in Hollywood. My son got hit really bad with uh, Ian. Ian. And uh, he had pointing at in order to town. All the 
baby clothes in the prison and all the cameras and this and that and the other. We're all destroyed with them and he's busted in and then he just has the water with the sewer system backed up with that. He's not moving the estimator. He goes, I guess he's got a little wire hooked up. Really disgusting. But he's got a little wire hooked up. Yeah, that was a terrible one in a hundred year type of storm. But uh, he likes the house and um, it's a beautiful home. And, uh, but you know, you don't, you don't know. You just have to be prepared. And next time, you know, you get the onion bowls up high. Back over to you, Rich. You made it worse. between 200 and 275 and the conditions then working. When they first came out in the 80s, I think these radios were around $700 back in the day. But right now, working radio, this kind of condition, 250, 275. Sometimes I'm not planning for about 200. I've seen them beat up from that I don't think I'm going to sell it. This, this is good for me to run outside on the back or I even take it in the uh, RV. Although I usually, I usually uh, like to take my uh, DX10 in the RV. I also got another little project going on here. My uh, 89. Developed a little smell, something was burning up, and uh, I discovered with the help of uh, a friend that no, that used to work for Alpha, diagnosed it to the watt meter board. It was what, what was happening was the watt meter here at the building watt meter wasn't displaying correctly. So it was reading lower than as I was actually putting out, and my LP100 uh, meter that right there was showing the proper wire, uh, the pop proper water job. So I was actually overdriving a little bit, trying to get full power, and I was trying to figure out why I wasn't getting full power. So the little watt meter board with, on the output connector goes right here. I actually sent it out to uh, to that gentleman that just worked for Alpha, and I let him square it away. 
I tested some of the diodes on there. Everything seemed to test good. But he built the stuff or designed it, so I'll let him uh, square it away. He's in Colorado. I already shipped it out. So there you have it, my Alpha 89. It was putting out. It was still putting out uh, uh, full power, but not indicating it on here. It was only, in, say for instance, my LP100 was say 900 watts. I mean, uh, 900, 1,000 watts. This one would say 5, 600 watts. If my LP100 was, was saying 1,500 watts, uh, this meter A was showing like 1,200 watts, 1,000 watts. So something was wrong with the meter. So diagnosed it to that uh, input output uh, watt, watt meter board back there. It's a nice little amplifier. 35 watts gets you full uh, legal limit or above. This is just said ECL and the scale says 2.5. 2.5, two, uh, two and a half kilowatt. Right? Of course, never run it that way. I like to run it around a kilowatt, but I, I wanted my meter to work properly. Which hopefully, uh, when I get it back, it will. Oh, man, my microphone fell off. Oh, you you still heard me. I have an external microphone on this phone, and I dropped it. So, that's what we have there, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for uh, viewing this and uh, to be continued. Well, that clock's got some smudges on it, don't it? I gotta clean that clock. It fell the other day behind my desk. And uh, there goes old my buddy Marconi with his spark gap transmitter. Probably back what, in the 20s? That's was one of the first radios. You didn't, you didn't no, no, no voice, no nothing. It was just a spark, and he would spark that and intermittently break the spark like a Morse code signal, and that's how they communicate. Be surprised how far a spark travels, and then go his other station up there, back in the twenties, I imagine. Operations there in Antarctica with our columns. Good night. You're out of there. Anyway, guys, everybody have a good evening. Be well. Till next time. Kilo Mike 4 Oscar Papa Phil signing out.